Why, hello there. Welcome to my first video of the new year, 2018. I'm very excited. <laughs> new year, new hair. <laughs> so first and foremost, thank you so much to divatress.com for sending me this wig in the first place. I did not purchase this wig, this was sent to me by them, and they are not paying me for this video. They just asked that I make a review, and they sent me this wig for free. So thank you guys very much. So first I'm going to show you what this wig looked like straight out of the box. And this is what it looks like. It had the lace attached and there are clips inside as you can see. The lace I noticed was kind of scratchy and not really soft like some other lace front wigs are. But that's okay because once I cut it off it wasn't scratchy or irritating at all. But it was very stiff. And I really love that they included baby hairs in the front here. Usually you have to cut these into the wig yourself. But for this one, there are quite a few, which helps to make the wig look a lot more realistic. And for this particular wig, there is only a central lace parting, which means you can part the wig and the other side, but you won't see straight down through to the lace. So first, I'm going to show you guys how I put on my wig. Now, I usually have all my hair back in a long ponytail, as you can see, and I braid it just to keep it all contained in one place. And I usually prefer to have a loose braid. For me, being comfortable is the most important thing because the more comfortable you are, the longer you wear your wig. So I put my hair up first in a braid, and then I like to grab a wig cap. Again, this is completely up to you, depends on your preference, but I prefer the mesh black wig caps, mostly because my hair is dark, this blends in with my hair, especially if I'm wearing a darker wig. I don't really like to wear nude wig caps, and this one is stretchy, which is comfortable. Again, I like being comfortable. <laughs> and I just want something to really keep my hair in place underneath the wig, especially since I have a lot of hair. So what I do is I usually keep the wig cap like this, and I put it on kind of like a headband. And then I just have it up around my forehead like so. And I usually keep the widest part. As you can see, there's kind of like an elastic band sewn to the end of this. I keep it towards the front because that keeps all the stray little hairs, my baby hairs, from peeking out. And then I stretch it down back over the rest of my hair like this. So now, for the fun part, I take all of my hair and I put it down towards the nape of my neck. And it's important to do this because if you put it up higher, it'll look like you have a really big bubble in the back of your head and it won't really look as realistic, especially when wearing shorter wigs, it's really important to do this. So you keep it down towards the nape of your neck, because usually that will kind of be covered by the rest of the hair. And then I take the top of the wig cap over here, and I use a single bobby pin because that's easiest for me and I find that it stays perfectly fine. But I take the end here, bunch it up, and just take my bobby cap, my bobby cap, my bobby pin, and pin it to the top there so it won't slide back. And then I make sure all of my little baby hairs are tucked in, and now you're ready to put on your wig. Now for this wig, as I mentioned earlier, it is a lace front wig, so I had to cut the lace off of the front first before putting it on. And I really love that they have little baby hairs here. And the thing I really love about this wig, again, as I mentioned earlier, is the clips, because that will make sure that your wig stays in place all day and you won't have to worry about it shifting around or having to bobby pin it in place. So how I like to put on my wigs, is I kind of put it in the back, almost like a hat, and I kind of pull it on. I let the bottom kind of go up underneath and grab that big bunch of hair down there. And I just kind of bring it up like that. I find it's usually very helpful to put your fingers near where the clips are in the beginning so you're not kind of searching for them as you're putting the wig on. And then get it to where you want it. And I take the clip and I put it up underneath the mesh wig cap into my hair and that'll give it a much more secure hold than if you just put it into the wig cap itself. And I make sure that all my hair is tucked underneath in the back and you have your wig on. Now is the fun part which is the styling. So as you can see a little baby hair is popping out there. And I'm just reaching underneath and making sure that all of the hair that's attached to the wig is not being tucked underneath. Including those little baby hairs as you can see right there. And I just kind of pull that down to make sure that it's covering my natural hairline. But because I do have darker hair, it doesn't make as much of a difference. If this were a blonde wig, it would be really noticeable. And I just usually like to give it a quick brush to make sure all the hair looks good. So a little bit more about this wig. The title on the website is called It's a Wig. 
Dream A-Line lace front wig named Candle. And this is in the color NT Moss Green, which I really love because it's a beautiful deep dark green mixed with some black. And on the website, it was originally listed for $49.95, but now it's $25.95. And for that price, I think this wig is actually really, really good quality because it's not very shiny. As you can see, it looks more natural. And it's not super soft, but it's definitely more like the natural looking type of hair. And the other fun part about this is that it comes in several different colors as well. I think there are one, two, three, four, five, six, ten different colors you can get this in. Jet black, off black, kind of like a dark brown, caramel brown, purple, green, which is this, red, blonde, and then a mix of other different things. So I think that's really nice that if you like a wig style, you can get it in different colors. And the description says, this is premium synthetic fiber, the Dream A-Line collection, iron friendly, safe, up to 350 to 400 degrees, which is fun, so it means you can curl it and straighten it. And all two reviews on the website give it five stars, and I will add a third to give it also five stars. So my honest thoughts and opinions on this particular unit are that I think it's a really great wig for the price. I was surprised at how well made this is for only $30 on the website. And I've worn it for a couple of days now. Uh, the only thing that I was worried about was that the lace was really stiff because I've gotten wigs like that before and they were really hard to wear because the lace was so scratchy because it was so stiff in the beginning. I find one way to fix that is that you really cut the lace super close to the hairline as much as possible and don't leave any sharp straight edges. Make sure everything is kind of slightly rounded when you cut it. And then I haven't had any issues with this when I've worn this out and about to work with my boyfriend out on a date. <laughs> and I'm a big fan. I really love that they included the little baby hairs. Where are they? I will find them. <laughs> because I feel like these make it look so much more realistic because I've had people try to guess, that's a wig, isn't it? I can tell I'm going to look at your hairline and this way I can be like, no, ah, you see those baby hairs? This is my real hair. <laughs> As you can see from the side, I love that kind of cut, that kind of bob. And I feel like with this length of hair, you can do a whole bunch of things with it. You can do little pigtails. And one other thing that I like about this wig that's been different from others that I've tried, one way I've always been able to tell whether someone's wearing a wig or not is looking through this part and seeing, because normally if you are wearing like a different wig than say, and you see kind of, you can see straight through like this where you can see the background behind the person that's like, oh, I can tell that person's wearing a wig because usually it's not sticking tight to their neck, if that makes any sense whatsoever. <laughs> but with this wig, even though you have the long bits here, if you, even if you take those up, you can see there are these little bits that stick close to the neck and that makes it look more realistic and like, oh yeah, I think that's her actual natural hair because you can't see, you know, there's hair around her neck, which is what natural hair looks like. So that's one thing I really like about this wig in particular. And other than that, I really like how the part is made. It's very close, so you can always pluck it and make it look a little bit more natural and add some concealer as well. But for me, I think it looks fine the way that it is. The color was true to what it said on the website, which is also a big issue I've run into before, so that was great. This looked exactly like the pictures on the model on the website. And the other good thing about this one is that normally with cheaper wigs that are, you know, 20 to $30, I find they tend to shed a lot more. This one, I've brushed it a couple of times and only a few hairs came out, which is awesome because, as you know, it's a wig. The hair is not going to grow back once it comes out. <laughs> So I think that's very important too. And this also does have adjustable straps, so if you like having that, that's also a bonus. But for me personally, I prefer not to use those. I kind of leave them hanging loose and don't tuck them in because the more pressure I put on my scalp, the more uncomfortable I am and I'm prone to get headaches and stuff like that. So the tighter you put your wig, the more uncomfortable it tends to be. Again, the more uncomfortable I am, the faster the wig comes off. <laughs> but that is an option. So if you like having adjustable straps to tighten up the wig, that is something that this wig does have. And other than that, I'm trying to think if I have anything bad to say about this wig. <laughs> so far, I don't. The only thing I disliked was that the lace was really stiff. But again, once I cut it and once I've been wearing it, that hasn't really been an issue and it hasn't been scratchy, which is good. So I don't think I have anything bad to say about this wig. The only thing is I wish the hair was a little bit softer, but I think that for a synthetic wig, this is really nice. So I've been wearing this for many hours now and I wanted to add something that I did find something that was not my favorite part about this wig and the edges here are kind of itchy but other than that that's the only thing that's been bugging me so that is it on this wig review i hope you guys enjoy this thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more wig reviews to come happy new year guys thanks for watching bye